this video, I want to share with you five affiliate marketing tips to increase sales in your business. So if you'd like to learn more, stay tuned. Hi, my name is Vivian from VivianBrown.com and welcome to my channel. My channel is all about online marketing, entrepreneurship, and the mindset. If this is your first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so you'll see when I upload more videos. And if you get value from this, feel free to share this out and leave me a comment below if you get value. So um, first, let me say, no matter what business model you're, you're in, if you're not promoting your own product, you are an affiliate. Um, depending on what the model is, the language may be a little bit different. For example, if you're in network marketing, people are accustomed to upline, downline. If you're in online marketing, they may be a um, a familiar with leads, um, lead generation or traffic or something like that. But like I said, if you're not promoting your own product, then you're an affiliate. So if you're in network marketing and you're promoting your company's tea or weight loss product, you're an affiliate. If you're in direct sales, you're an affiliate. If you're even in insurance, you're an affiliate. Once you're promoting somebody else's product or service and you get a commission when you generate a sale, then you're, um, you are an affiliate. So here are the um, tips that I want to leave with you to increase your sales. First one, you want to do build, uh, get a bridge page. Then the bridge page could be a video, it could be a, a blog post, it could be some kind of article, you know, something that will bridge a gap between the, um, the, the capture page, because usually in affiliate marketing, the capture page is already done for you. The capture page is that, you know, that one page website where you have um, some kind of copy uh, inviting people to enter their email address. So between that and the the sales page that the the affiliate marketing the affiliate company gives you, you want to have a bridge page. And this bridge page can be a video, like I said. And what it does, it helps to build rapport. So people see you, the people get familiar with you, and they see your mannerisms, and they you know start to get into like know and trust you. And it also helps to pre-frame the. Um, the, the, the next uh, the offer, right? So you want to, want to tell them about the offer, what it's all about, and it helps to build rapport and it helps to sell the next steps. So you want to tell them what to do. So that's the bridge page. Because more, what most people, what most affiliates do is send their, their, their um, people to straight to the capture page, not to the capture page, straight to the sales page. So you want to self, set yourself apart. And with a bridge page, you set yourself as your authority. And it's not, even though nine, more than nine, almost 100% of everything is done for you, it's more than that. You have to, you, um, it's more than just sending traffic, right? So you want to set yourself apart from everybody else who is just sending their their um, people to promoting to the the sales page. So you want to do a um, do a bridge page to help build rapport with your audience. Number two, you want to become a product of the product. Don't just sell something because you want to make money. Make sure that you are using the product and maybe you have used it before and have gotten results and it's something that you believe in. I don't promote anything unless I believe in it. So you want to promote something that you, are, you have used before or you're currently using getting results and it will be more believable when you sell something that you are, you know, you believe in and that works and that get, get results from. So you can do a screen, screen, screen share and show people, you know, if they buy this thing, what is what they what can, what they can expect, right? And it also helps to build credibility for you, and it you can sell more effectively when you sell something that you believe in, and you get to transfer that belief to your audience as well. The third thing, and by the way, if you're getting value from this, feel free to comment below. The third thing is do a product review. So you could compare something, um, maybe compare the product that you're selling with another product that's similar. And you want to do an honest review, not beating down one against the other. Because your product may have A, B, C, and the other product that's similar may have A, B, C, D. So you want to explain why this one is so and why the other one is so. So you want to have a, a, a genuine um, product review, like I said, not tearing down one against the other, right? So um, you want to be honest and just show the difference so people can make up their mind. Why should I buy this one over that one? Or why should I buy that one over this one? So you want to do an honest product review. The fourth thing is to create bonuses. So why should people buy from you instead of the other affiliates and what bonuses do they set you apart they it's like an incentive for them to buy from you instead of buying from other people's other people right and um 
it could be like a free report or a free video or some kind of uh, maybe a, a 15 minute um, discover call or to join your Facebook um, mastermind group, your private group or something like that. Something that, that's of value, extra value that will want them to buy from you instead of, instead of your um, competitors or your, the other affiliates. So that's number four. Number five is to build your audience. Now, I think I mentioned this before, but what most affiliates do is send people straight to their um, affiliate um, uh, sales page or to a replicated um, website if you're in network marketing. And so they have no way of capturing anybody's information. And most people, they, on the first exposure, they will not buy. But if you have a way to capture their information, then you can always follow up. And this is where email marketing comes in. And if you want to check out uh, another video that I did about the thing that you will need to um, build, start building your email marketing list, which is your number one asset in your business, then you can check that out as well. So you want to build your audience. Like I said, you uh, most people will not buy on the first um, exposure, so you want a way to capture their information. Because remember, you are your business. People are joining you, not necessarily your product or your service. So you want to build that email list. You want to build rapport so you can sell them down the road if they, they may not particularly buy that um, that product you're promoting right um, at, this, at the moment, but maybe you have something else down the road that you know resonates more with them. So as you build rapport, as you provide value, they'll want to buy that. So you want to build your email list. So I hope these um, tips help you in your affiliate marketing and to get sales. So again, if you got value, feel free to share this out. And you have, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn notification bell on and um, let me know you got value. And by the way, if you're looking for a way to start your own affiliate marketing business, be sure to, set to um, check out the Profit Boosting Bootcamp. And I will leave a link below the description, the video. The Profit Boosting Bootcamp, I will leave a link below the video. This is the same bootcamp that I've gone through that has helped me in my own business online. So you wanna check that out. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.